friends, welcome to the devlog for hot dogs, horseshoes, and hand grenades. We're gonna start off as always with a quick sound check. Make sure speakers aren't up too high. Wonderful. So what have we got for you this week? Well, it is the last of our weekly meat miss roundups today. Although it's uh, it's only taken us through box 23, so I will definitely also have a video for you folks on meat miss day. Uh, but for today, we're going to go through the last seven boxes that have uh, dropped uh, and then talk about some important stuff involving release times for our final updates of this holiday event. So let's jump on over to our first box. Day 17. We have got a really cool piece here that was actually a fairly late uh, model donation. Uh, that is the, the Taz 81 Mars prototype. This uh, Soviet era uh, survival gun, uh, along with its attachable stock. Yep, that goes there. Is a, uh, is a, is a top break 410 revolver. Let's pop those in there. Boop. Boop, boop, boop. Wonderful, beautiful little piece. So you can find anything to shoot on your hat. That works. Ah, wonderful. Great stuff. Great stuff. By the way, I apologize if my head movement's kind of jittery in this video because of development stuff for finishing up Meat Miss. I am running out of the Unity Editor right now, and things are not as smooth as they uh, they could be. But uh. More important to get the presents ready, of course. There we have it. Taz 81 Mars. This has a flip out bayonet technically, uh, but I don't have it operational yet. Uh, after the holiday season is over, I'll get that uh, functioning so you can stab with your uh, survival stocked revolver shotgun. Yeah. Day 18. We have this beauty from 1959. It is the BM-59. Uh, you might be uh, might, might you know be like, huh, that kind of looks like an M14. Well, it uh, it kind of does. And uh, this is the para version of it that has a collapsible stock on it, which just kind of feels ridiculous on a uh, on a gun this beefy uh, and, and the uh, the recoil to match. Let's fire this without the stock for a sec. Nope, that's not going anywhere useful. <laughs> Let's actually take some aim shots. Doo, 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 doo. There we go. Wonderful. It's got a built-in bipod as well, which is always fun. You can uh, remember with the uh, with the options panel, if you lock the options panel, it uh, it becomes physical enough to rest a bipod on like so. So you can totally just do have some cheater bipod time just freestanding like this. Always fun. So there you have it. BM 59. Day 19. Blap. We've got a beautiful world, well, just post World War I era French machine gun. We'll have. I'm. I, I would. I would. Uh, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna call this the M29 because I'm totally not gonna pronounce it correctly. Uh, sort of top load like so. <laughs> Beastly sound. Oh, I just I love stuff from this era. We got this funky sight here uh, that's on the left. Very Bren, very very Bren. I think I think the Bren came after this. I think I'm I'm almost positive. Oh, just wonderful, absolutely wonderful piece. New sound. <laughs> Anton loves the big guns. 
So there you have it. There's our M29 bipod and all. <laughs> Day 20. So, before this actually began, I had mentioned a whole bunch in the uh, in the Discord that one of the things that I really wanted to do uh, this Meet Me season was to get a few more DMRs in the game. And so that is one of the reasons why we have this sweet looking M76, which is from Yugoslavia. Yeah, grab some mags here. Let's take some distant shots. Uh, it's got a, a scope to go with it. That is illuminated, has that nice radioactive uh, symbol on the side. Beautiful. Oh. Such a great sight. Come on, if we can actually acquire a target, it'd be even better. Beautiful. Oh. Great stuff. That's one of those beautiful new sounds. Throw you over there. Great stuff. M76! Day 21! Got another antique beauty here, this time from Finland. This is the uh, Lati. You know, I didn't actually see how that is pronounced. I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly. Uh, M26. Beautiful big steel beast. <laughs> Too much fun. Too much fun. I just... Modern guns are fine and all, but for me, my heart is always at these big old steel clanking noisy suckers. Oh, too much fun. Too much fun. M26. Day 22. Looks like these had a little trouble spawning. We have a absolutely ridiculous set. A full set of Spas 15 shotguns. Just look at this. If this doesn't say 80s, just everything about 80s gun design, I don't know what does. So this is this is actually the compact that I picked up that has a uh, folding stock on it. <laughs> you know, if you need to make your MagFed tactical shotgun compact. Oh, that's just great. This is with the six shot magazine. We have a whole selection of them. If we grab the standard full length one here, let's grab a, let's see, that's the, yeah, that's the six. Where'd the 12 go? It must have been kicked somewhere or I messed something up. Either way, here's a three run mag to torture you with. Uh, actually, what's really cool about this is that we can click to set this into pump mode so we can fire. and cycle it manually if we want to. Pop that back into auto. And for those of you who like rails, rails, and more rails, we have a tactical version of it uh, that is more modern and just looks awesome. And this ridiculous magazine <laughs> that the, uh, the artist of the who made this gun, Ole, found online. Some random nutter made this uh, and called it the Anaconda. And so we decided that, that that was ridiculous enough that it just needed to be in H3. So there you have it. Spas 15, Anaconda style. <sighs> Wonderful. And last, but certainly not least, Day 23. Even. Blap, with an arm swinger jump and everything. And we have long awaited the Lewis gun set. And what a set it is. We have the Lewis gun, which I'm sure many of you are familiar with. This absolute beast with its 47 round pan magazine. 
And I even took the time to like make the shell sort of sag out of a little bit like they do in real life. Give this a shot. Find something to shoot at. First. Oh, just wonderful. Just absolutely monstrous. Honestly, probably a little more monstrous sounding relative to other guns than it kind of should be, but I just, I, I decided to go hard with it. So just an absolute beaut. Uh, these have actually been ready for a while and I've just been waiting for the right time to put them in. Just beautiful work by Stefan. And then we have a rarer and in my mind, even cooler piece. Uh, I got obsessed with this gun when I first saw it. This is the, uh, the, the Lewis Assault Phase Rifle Prototype. It was designed to try to compete with the bar. Uh, and honestly, in, in many ways was, you know, appears to be superior to it uh, from all the info I was able to find. But just as like long and sleek and cool looking. I just, that, that heat shield just, it just does it for me, you know? Sights? There we go. I was aiming a little too low. Wonderful. Though, can you imagine just having to lug around this much steel and wood? Oh my goodness. Wonderful. And we have both the Mark II and the Mark. There were apparently three versions of this, three prototypes made. I was only able to find pictorial reference for two of them. And that is, this is a best rendition possible of these. Just looking so cool. So yeah, Lewis gun set. I hope you enjoy all of them. So let's jump out of VR quick and talk about our schedule for our final builds, our day 24 box, and then when the Meet Miss Day build will be live. Yo, out of VR and in slightly different angles. I, uh, I, I wanted to pitch the camera over a little bit so you could see the little tree uh, that I got set up here along with uh, all of the uh, wonderful uh, gifts and uh, cards from around the world that some of you sent me that I just wanted to express my deepest appreciation for. Got some got some cards and parcels from like all over the world. Like it was, it was super cool. Like the UK, uh, Australia, um, uh, Anchorage, Alaska, uh, which was super cool. And uh, what am I missing? Oh, and, uh, and a card from from Japan. So I just wanted to thank you very much. You know who you are. I, I didn't get the time to like ask ahead of time if we folks permission, if they wanted me to say their names, um, which I don't like doing that sort of thing without permission, but you know who you are and my deepest appreciation to you for the cool stuff. I'm going to open it all on meet miss day so that I've got something to open too. <laughs> So yeah, beyond that, in terms of when are our last two uh, builds, there is no build today at 7 p.m. And the reason for that is that I had to add in a custom ammo type and do some code changes that if I were to put that in, if I were to push a build at seven today, a bunch of you, get, just given that I can post like part of an iron sight and the community is like, oh, it's this model of this gun from 1971, like 18 minutes later, it would immediately reveal. <laughs> Uh, what it is. So instead, I'm going to do a full bundle push build tonight at 12, oh, well, tomorrow morning at 12.05 a.m. for box number 24. And then for Meet Miss Day, instead of doing it at midnight, which is where I push a build and then go to bed, I'd like to actually be awake uh, while you folks open Meet Miss Day goodies. So that is going to be going live at 8 a.m. PST, which is 11 a.m., EST and then 4 p.m. in the UK. So I think I got that all right uh, <laughs> time zone wise. So that is when everything will go live on Meet Miss Day. I've seriously one of the one of the, the main goodie, the big toy for this year uh, is I'm super excited about it is I, 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 I want to give you a hint, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna ruin it. Just suffice it to say, I think it might be the coolest 
meet me meet Miss Day gift that H3 has ever had. So I think I think you all are going to have a blast with it. And uh, yeah, so anywho, I hope uh, I hope you folks all are having a warm and safe uh, holiday season. Uh, to those of you who celebrate, and to those of you who don't, I hope you're having, I don't know, some really great Chinese food, uh, as I always do on Meat Miss Day. So, uh, so yeah, so I will have another video out at some point on the uh, the 25th after I have gorged myself with Chinese food. And uh, I hope you all in have enjoyed this Meat Miss calendar and enjoy the gifts that are, uh, that are still coming. So, I'll see y'all soon. Peace.